welcome back to the Bellagio for your updates on the Bellagio Cup 3 Tournament Series. Last night, event number 25, a $5,000 buy-in played out its final table, and the winner was Nikolai Losev. He won more than $125,000 for his first place finish. The final table that's playing right now is for event number 26, a $2,500 buy-in. There were 136 entrants, so it paid 18, but last night they played all the way down to a final table of 9. Before final table play started today at 4, we got to catch up with a couple of the players. Martin, your chip leader, how'd you get so many chips? Um, actually, I got pretty lucky against the guy in seed one. That guy? Uh, yeah. Uh, but afterwards, uh, I kind of just got a little chips uh, all the way through. So, so what's your strategy going to be to try and take out the short deck? Um, I don't think I want to tell that now. <laughs> With all the other guys sitting here. <laughs> but I have my plans. Joe, how many chips do you have going into the final table? Uh, about 65,000. 63.3. Where is that in comparison to the rest of the table? Uh, it's almost mid average, um, but there's some pretty big stacks at the table. There's a couple guys with uh, 95 to 100, but then there's one like uh, almost 200. I lost a big hand. I lost a big hand uh, towards the, towards the uh, bubble. Um, in the big line, I woke up with Ace King. Uh, there was a guy on the button. He made a raise. Uh, didn't give it much respect. It seemed like a button raise. The small blind, very aggressive player, raised, re-raised all in. Uh, I went all in as well, and uh, the button didn't do what he was supposed to do. He called because he had kings, and uh, we were sharing aces. We had a small blind. I had Ace, I had ace King. He had Ace Jack. Uh, jack on the flop, Ace on the turn. I had more chips than this one than, than both guys and uh, won a small side pot, but was, you know, cut in half, basically. There were some ups and downs, but I, I managed to go ahead and, and uh, get in, and then I actually knocked the last guy out to get to the final table, the short second of the table. Well, I see you've got some almonds there, some nuts. Is that for good luck, or...? Uh, no, just to keep uh, just to keep something in my stomach, and uh, as you know, because I told you already, I just chipped my tooth. <laughs> Open the bag, so... Didn't your mom ever tell you not to open things with your teeth? She did, but thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> that guy, Joe Pack, I think he brought the almonds to make all the other players think that he always has the nuts. <laughs> All joking aside, the final table is eight-handed after the short stack going into the final table and Antonio Soleria has been knocked out. The last eight remaining players are vying for that first place prize of more than $138,000, a $25,000 seat in the World Poker Tour Championship in April, and a gold Bellagio bracelet. This is the last preliminary event before the $10,000 buy-in World Poker Tour Championship. The championship starts July 10th. But from now until then, they're running Mega Satellites, and we talked to tournament director Jack McLeod about them. For the next three days, we'll be having uh, two super satellites a day, one at noon, one at 10 p.m. And on uh, Monday evening, we'll have our final Desperado super satellite at 10 p.m. The super satellites are a $1,500 buy-in. Right now, we're running one table satellites, $350 buy-in with two winners. You can win the seat then to either the 10 p.m. or the noon one tomorrow. We'll also be having one table of satellites right up until the start of the tournament. Those will be $1,080 uh, with one winner for the $10,000 seat. The main event uh, has two starting days. One is on Tuesday the 10th and one is on Wednesday the 11th. Uh, players can get a each day until the start of the second round, so that will be about 145 each day. So we're expecting several hundred players and uh, looking forward to it. Are you excited for it to finally start since there's been so many preliminary events leading up to it? Yes. <laughs> yes, no, we'll be happy to, oh, you know, always happy to see it start. And, uh, you know, with all the players in town, uh, we think we'll have a very nice event. And we're looking forward to having it at Bellagio Cup 3 on the World Poker Tour. Thanks for tuning in to our Bellagio Cup 3 tournament series updates. I'm Christiana for Card Player TV, and I'll see you when the main event starts.